working back again uh, in this part um, we're working with uh, edit class and remove class uh, in previous uh, part we work uh, with add class right so uh, in this part we'll work with edit and remove so uh, first of all we need to create this model pop-up model so let's copy this and paste here and we'll write this as uh, edit class model and for another uh, we'll uh, uh, remove remove class remove class model so here we'll change remove class uh, we don't need this form uh, and let's give this uh, as remove class button and we don't need this too okay we will uh, write here as remove message and we'll display a message to you really want to remove so uh, let's go back to this uh, class controller after that you know we uh, fetch uh, the data uh, this is like a data table uh, for format to uh, retrieve the data and after that uh, we need to change this part update or no, it was not update I think it was uh, edit class model and remove class model should this should display successfully the model so you can see it you really want to remove of there's a spelling mistake okay do you really want to remove and if we click on edit we all will change this data too uh, first uh, let's uh, work with this uh, uh, do you really want to remove so we'll create uh, a remove function first of all uh, we'll write here a copy function remove class id if class id then if this uh, if uh, we get a class id then this model classes will call the remove uh, function after that we'll check if uh, the, uh, the execution was successful is true then uh, true change this to message and write successfully remove else validator success false we'll write error while removing the information good fairly data okay let's create that on here we need to create the function as public function remove class ID we we'll check if we get class ID then we'll this db where class id goes to class id result this db delete class we'll check if uh, this operation was successful by uh, result if result equals to true then it should return true otherwise false so uh, 
this should this function uh, will obviously work but now we'll uh, submit that data uh, by Ajax okay uh, uh, first we need to create the remove function uh, to get the uh, class ID so uh, we'll create the function public function remove class class ID as no we we'll check if uh, this class ID and if the user clicks this button then um, then would we'll submit the form for example uh, if we click there should be a lot more access, right so if we click on this button so this is how it works so we'll write our Zax call URL uh, this URL from this part and we'll hard code it though uh, Type as post success as I'm sorry uh, data type as JSON success so if response dot success I think I'll copy uh, this from here and remove unnecessary uh, part so well, we don't need this and we don't need this so, so if there is an error basis uh, it should display on that model by itself so uh, if there is an error so we we'll put it over here and we don't need this offset this too Okay, uh, for this we need to display the success message on this part. Okay, and we'll uh, reload the data tables this part after the, it's successfully removed. And we need to close this model too. So it's model hide. This is a bootstrap function, so it should be like. No, I, I think I'll remove this third one. Let me check. Yeah. Why? Why did it delete it to one? Um, two. Okay, that already exists. Three. Okay, uh, I think I'll remove this one. Yeah, now it's working on this one. Okay, let's do that again. Two, three, and four. So, uh, I'll remove the third one. Okay, it's successful, so I'll remove the two plus. Okay, so it's working fine. So now, uh, we'll work with the edit part. Okay. Uh, uh, which uh, first of all, uh, uh, the uh, we cannot have like same uh, uh, input name. Uh, so I'll change this to edit class name, and this as edit numeric name. Let's copy this here and here. This here and here. We'll change this uh, to. Uh, Edit class name and this to edit class. I will change this to uh, update. Yeah, so okay, it's perfect. So, first of all, we need to fetch uh, the data 
uh, from the uh, database and display the uh, value here so like class one and numeric should be one so if we click on this uh, the data should be available in this input so to do that simple uh, uh, when uh, user click on this edit button in this part you know this this was from uh, in this one while facing so if user clicks on on this edit um, button right or uh, we will call this edit class function to page the data so again class id null and we'll use the uh, uh, azax to call uh, function uh, which was created before if you remember we call this plus URL classes face class data class ID type we like post can data type right JSON sources response okay uh, so we can check if the data successfully returned yes yeah, successfully returned so class one you make one you can see the value it should return the four yeah it's returning it's perfect now only we need to do is now um, display this value to the input to do that or we'll use dome 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 this uh, value as response dot class name and this as numeric name so I think it should work perfect now it's perfect now it's perfect now so Oh, that that how it works uh, so now uh, we'll try to add update function uh, it's seen uh, like create function easy I oh, will put it here I think not here I think I'll put it here. Uh, change the name to update, and here should be class ID. And we'll check if it returns the class ID. We'll indent this to here and paste it here, and we'll change this to edit class and edit numeric name. Uh, we'll change this to edit class name. We can edit this numeric name. We'll create this function as well as and uh, you know the rules, the logic. I mean, we'll change this update. Update. So everything is same. Okay. Now we need to create this. Uh, this two function to check if. Uh, the value already exists but this one is a little bit different we need to pass a uh, class ID two. Or we can, or we can either pass from this one. But uh, to make it clear, I think I'll put it here. We can uh, send statically from here, here, from like this one. 
but uh, that may make you like more confusion. So I put here class ID, class ID value, value should come from here. Not from here. We'll put it from here. Class ID. Okay, so uh, we can see that by clicking on this. On footer, see this is six. Class one should be six. Okay, it's working fine. So uh, we'll check this. Uh, we'll copy the same. The same logic, we don't just change the function, we just keep this one to this. I'm sorry, edit the make number. We go to model uh, uh, again, same, which we'll only change this to edit. And edit new mimic, but uh, in this uh, school there will be a little bit diff uh, there will be change. We'll see okay, same here, class ID and class ID is not equals to one and class ID is not equals to. So it's, this is how it works. So this is the new thing. Like uh, uh, this uh, SQL statement uh, uh, looks for the uh, class name which is not equals to uh, which is not equals to uh, each uh, its own uh, value. For example, like uh, if we uh, type one and one and in class id is like one so it looks like it will look for the values which is not equal to one so for example if uh if if we have like class one here it returns class one and here it should be class one so so uh should not equal to one so if we have like two and uh, like here if you have two like I'm sorry like three and here one then it exists in someone else I hope it's a bit clear so it's it's simple like like if we have like class one here and like if you have one then uh, it should not be equal to class one so simple same it's a prepared statement to prevent from uh, SQL injection this is uh, recommended SQL statement so it's easy so uh, let's try to update the value okay I can type like three Yeah, I think we should not keep this one here. We'll write here class ID. This input post from here. Edit class ID. Okay, more class undefined update. Okay, okay, the value is not empty. Let's try to. Okay. Let's update, create, create the function update. Public function update. Update data. Have it. This will come be from here. 
last name and here should be numeric name okay this uh, values will be common from here and this to where class ID goes to this input post class ID drive like four which should all exist okay this should not update I'm sorry this should be edited yes, ID Ah, uh, it should not be four. There's something wrong with it. Should oh, I'm sorry. It should be this and this. So let's change this to one and. If we try to add four, okay, it's working. Edit callback. Should be this. I think it's fine. Close to one. Oh, it should be edited. Oh, oh my mistake, my soul. Sorry. Last thing only to, I'm sorry it should be edited. Okay, so I uh, will now work with uh, Zach's 
Okay. Or we can copy simply this. And just change this class name from here. We write this uh, as edit class form. We don't need to like uh, reset the value. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 how it works. So let's try to one. Okay, there's error. Okay, I need I need to change this uh, to edit edit and edit so if uh, we uh, enter this it should be if you try for for uh, the class name already exists so if you try for one successfully added I'm sorry it should be successfully updated So yeah, <coughs> that how it works. So I hope uh, it works fine for you. If not, then uh, the source code uh, will be available on the description section. You can click on there and you can go through the codes and work on them. I hope this helps you. Okay. Uh, in next part, uh, we'll be working with this manage section. Then after that, subject. After that, we'll create add, add both student and uh, manage student, and attendance module, and mark sheet module, and accounting check all modules. So, yeah, that's all for today. Thank you.